guys, this is Fab Star, illustrator on Batgirl, and you're watching Punching the Walls of Reality. Perfect. <laughs>this Prometheus with Punching the Walls Reality here at StapleCon interviewing Babs Tar. So Babs, I believe this is your first time here at Staple. How's your experience been so far? Um, it's been really fun. Um, everyone's super nice and Austin's like such a great town. Um, is it your first time in um, Austin as well? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, first time. Uh, we went ate at Lucy's Fried Chicken House or something last night and then we went to Shangri-La and maybe had a little too much to drink. <laughs> But it was a really good time. I don't know. How did you feel when you got the call that they, when they told you that you were going to be the artist for, for Bad Girl? So I, I was at my full-time job at the moment, which I just got notified that I could quit. <laughs> so I was, like, outside with, like, reading the email to my coworker, who was, like, my best friend. And we, like, squealed and screamed, and I was really excited. It felt sur super surreal. So how's your experience with DC Comics in general been, like, where do you see your career going, and how do you feel that uh, kind of your art style has influenced Batgirl? My time at DC has been really good. Everyone's super nice to me and um, really collaborative. And the, the DC's really letting us spread our wings and do all kinds of fun stuff. And um, my editor is great, and the environment's really awesome. And I've been treated with nothing but respect. And um, I don't know about the future. I'm kind of down for anything. Uh, I've I've done all kinds of stuff in the art world, like I've done 2D game art and I've done um, toy design and ed editorial illustration and now comics and I'm just like down for whatever comes next and um, along for the ride. I just like, want to eat up experiences, so whatever's next, I'm down. I don't know what it will be, but in the immediate future, it's going to be a lot more Batgirl. <laughs> Well, they, they, got, they hired me because they liked my art style, which was insane because I had never done comics before, before Batgirl and um, art sequential work. And um, to be hired to be on the book because they like my art style so much is like the ultimate honor. I could not, I still pinch myself because I don't believe it's actually happening. <laughs> So, with this being the first comic you've worked on, um, do you feel like it was a challenge to adapt your art style to it, or to get used to doing uh, like sequential art? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like even if you pick up my issues, like issue one looks uh, like a lot different than ish the latest one does, and um, you can kind of see me grow. I think, and I kind of have the style down now, and um, it was just like I wasn't sure how to. Um, I guess my cartooning language for comics wasn't like quite developed, but now I've got it kind of down to pat. And um, Cameron Stewart actually has been doing my layouts because I'm so new, um, which was a super blessing. And he's so talented. Um, and the first layouts he gave me were like were like really detailed. And I was like, Cameron, like you don't have to do that if you don't want. I mean, it's great, but you don't have to. And he's like, it's kind of like part of him being a control freak and part of like not quite trusting me yet. And then you know they. They saw my work and um, they started trust me and then they got like more looser and um, now for 41 and on I'm doing my own layout so I'm like really nervous so if the quality of the comic drops uh, significantly I'm really sorry I guess <laughs> but Cameron won't let me like I'm gonna run all my layouts by him anyway and hopefully he'll red pin them and make them awesome and no nobody has to suffer <laughs> that's really good that you're able to like kind of ease into that though yeah. you know so, you had mentioned that your dream project, if you could work on, like, any property, you mentioned Sailor Moon. So, so why Sailor Moon? Why would that be your pick? Um, Sailor Moon is just, I grew up on it, and it's, like, it's why I draw the way I draw. Uh, and I have to have such a heart connect with those characters, and um, I like how there's kind of a girl for, for everyone to, like, relate to, and... Um, I was like such a klutz when I, and I wasn't good at my schoolwork and I, I love to draw and I just like were related to that character a lot so I think it would be fun to like reinvent it and um, have my own fun with it like Crystal's out right now and I really hate it and it, I feel like they, they took the old cartoon and they just like took all the heart out of it and like threw it away and then they ran over it 
And um, I would like to do it good. <laughs> so humble. No, I just, I'm passionate. I feel like I, after that came out, I was like, this is what Star Wars fans must feel like with the new stuff. Like, it's just like they shit all over the old stuff. And sorry, I probably shouldn't say that in the interview. Okay. It's like they just crapped all over the old stuff. And like, just, I don't know. Anyway, I could go on about it, but I won't. <laughs> Well, hopefully you'll get that opportunity because, yeah, I would love to see, you know, your art style on Sailor Moon. I think that would be fantastic. If you can tell people uh, what the next issue of Bad Girl is coming out or when it's coming out. Um, no. <laughs> it, let's see. I think it comes out this month in a couple of weeks, really soon. Not this Wednesday, but the next one maybe. Yeah, close enough. Go to comic store on Wednesday, ask for Bad Girl. <laughs> if they don't have it, wait another week and you'll get Bad Girl. <laughs> but yeah, but thank you so much for talking with us. Yeah, I'm a huge fan and uh, yeah, just I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys.